Brendan has been hard at work since we last saw him. As you can see, he has uh, acquired some more food. You might not be able to tell by that, but you might be able to tell we have a couple more gun cases that we've decided to place over here. And uh, a lot of guns in there. I had run out of space here for my guns and ammunition, so I just started taking the gun cases and putting them here. Uh, we also sorted this. This is kind of our tool section of the cabinet. And then over here, we have uh, a gun box, because we started to run out of room in the gun stuff. And then we have a empty box, followed by melee weapons and other tools. We have some seeds in this one. We have our planks and our nails in this guy. Scrap wood in that one. Random materials in this one. And finally, we have various assorted clothing in this one. So what I'm going to do, go up to the nails, and we're going to take about half. God, that was so many more than I thought it was going to be. We're going to take one box. Because I know we still have some downstairs. So let me show you what we've been working on since we've been here. We'll just head downstairs to our next little area. All right. Now, you might notice there's a couple of planks here. Just a couple. Just, you know, 120 almost and a bunch of nails as well. I started in here, taking down everything that I could find, basically and uh, going around in a clockwise formation until we have this place left still. And now the reason I didn't take this one apart is because around this time, as you can see, because this place still has stuff standing in it, I got bored of tearing stuff down and I was like, I just, I need to do something else. So we stopped doing that. I was also gathering up the supplies that were down here, like the cooked food. Uh, not the cooked food, the, uh, the canned food, I mean. Uh, it was getting to be a little much. I was tired of having to heft that stuff around and whatnot, so we just uh, decided to say screw it. And as you can see, some of the stuff in here is broken down, but not necessarily all of it, right? So it looks like we just got a little bit tired, which is unfortunate. So we're gonna come into here where there should still be a bed and we'll just sleep for a little bit. Incidentally, how is it I chose the house or the apartment that has the one person bed and not the like double wide bed like the rest of these do? Anyway, we should uh, go ahead and eat something. So let's go ahead and eat this peanut butter. And we're good. All right. So today, like I had said last time, we're going to continue to try and expand our base up a bit. And to start with, we're just going to load up planks into our uh, backpack here. Hopefully not overweighing ourselves. And we're going to take all the nails. Now we're going to pray, because this is the scary part. Oh, fuck. I meant to climb over. The scary part is, are there zombies below us? And there are. Ah, oh, come on, lady. It's fucked up, and you know it. Okay. Well. It's not ideal. Incidentally, if you look at our stats, you'll notice my first aid is up. I went ahead, and while I was doing this stuff, I uh, decided it would be a good idea to bandage some glass upstairs and bandage my feet up to level it up a bit. Come on, on the ground. And so that's what I did. I stood on some glass for a while and uh, took the glass pieces out to level up my first aid. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start framing this area up. Oh. Here we 
go. Little bit of the dust. I'm not sure where that one came from since it uh, is wearing a lab coat. Okay. Maybe we can actually finish this wall. Perfect. There we go. All right. So now we're clear on both the. Um, I guess that's the east and the west sides. We just have to worry about the other ones. So, probably a thing. It looks like my gloves broke for some reason. And I'm tired again. Why am I tired again already? Hmm. Well, no matter. We have to go back upstairs to grab some stuff anyway. I should take a look around here real quick, though. Are there any other zombies? Not that I can see. All right. Let's go ahead and climb up the rope. And we're back. All right. Did my guy not get enough sleep in here, I guess? I don't know. I thought he did. Good. Infected. Great. Love to see it. Well, we can deal with an infected wound for a little bit here. That's not a big deal. All right. Let's go ahead and eat some chocolate as we wake up. My actual morning routine. I wake up and eat a candy bar to get myself going. Not the healthiest thing, but... Fucking delicious. All right. So we're just going to load up on some more planks. How many can we actually hold in our backpack? 14? I wasn't expecting that amount, but okay. I really wish there was a way to see down before we went down. Okay. Looks like we're fine. I just can't see shit. I hate this. We're just going to make some walls. I think... Uh, right here will do for now. And we're going to skip past these so I can put them here. Okay. Then let's go ahead and place these ones down back here before we close our way off. And then I'm going to, if I can select it, put up a wall. Okay. And that takes care of all of that. Let's go ahead and climb up again. I said, let's go ahead and climb up again. There we go. There we go. This is going to be a bit of a process here. Okay. And I think we're still alive. Not alive, but, you know. Not in a bad position here. Let's finish up this side of the wall. I mean, yeah, I can't see shit over there. And I can put this up. Excellent. And then we just go back to carpentry. Do the wall frames here. We just need two more. And then... No, come on. The, the, the wall. The wall. The wall. Here we go. Can only do one more thing. 
Okay. Well, sometimes that's how it goes. Alright, let's climb back up. Load up on more planks. Where's the area that I haven't finished yet? There it is. Just here. And then just like that, this section should be cordoned off now. I don't think I can see through here. If I can, I missed one. Fine. All right. So that whole area is now good to go. Um, I wish I could destroy these stairs. That would be so much nicer, because then I can secure this little area where uh, we're at. Or in case zombies decide to come up the stairs, they can just fall down to where the rope is at. Okay. So I think what we'll do next is we'll create... A, I think on this side would be best, right here. Sort of create a wall here. Okay, and then... Hmm... <clears throat> Yeah, what my plan is here is we're going to put up a wall here, build those three walls up, and then what we'll do uh, is we will put doors here. I might do some windows on these, but I don't know if I should do that, because if I build windows, then the zombies can just <clears throat> climb through, right? I don't want them to be able to do that, but I want to be able to see out here. Because if there's a huge horde that's gathered here and I just have a door... Um, I'm kind of trapped in there, right? I mean, I can go outside, but I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. I'll try a window, maybe. So I'm going to see. Can I go up here? If I get near the edge. Ow. Nope. I was wondering if maybe I could, uh, you know, get myself over to... Close enough so I could just grab the planks without having to climb it down that way. But no, I have to do it this way. It's fine. What? There's a gap here? Oh my god, I didn't even realize. Holy crap. Imagine if I would not have realized that. And it was just... I mean, I guess I left it there at one point. I just never filled it in. There we go. All right, now these walls should be secured. All right, so first let's do carpentry, wall, wall frame. Drop it down here. Okay, and then now comes the tricky part, because I can build a window at the same cost. I don't know why he had to jump through it like that, but you do you, my guy. Um, and then let's grab normal wooden walls. I'm gonna put that like that. But if I get behind it now, I can see out. Let's see. If I barricade it with planks. Will that help at all? Like, I don't want to make it so I can't see out, right? But if I put a few planks there, I think I can still see, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's do the same thing to this side, then. Oh, well, we're out of planks. That's alright. Let's go get some more. Um, the, the rope. 
Mm, sometimes it is difficult to touch that rope, guys. You know what? I'm just gonna grab a couple more there. Alright, climb over. I wonder if there's an easier way to, like, touch the rope, you know? Alright. So first we gotta select this. Build a window. Then we can build a wall. Okay. Excellent. And then... We do carpentry door... I want to put a double door here, so I just need to grab more planks, a doorknob, and a hinge, which should be easy enough since those are lying around all over. But first, let's go ahead and barricade this window. How many planks do we have left? Eight? Eight on us? Okay. I'll drop those on the ground for right now. There we go. Do I have any on my inventory? No. All right. Go back up. And then we'll grab a hinge, doorknobs, or I guess hinges and doorknobs. And then we can go from there. All right. Uh, hinges and doorknobs. There we go. Grab them. Perfect. Then I'm just going to grab two more. I guess three. Never mind. Crap. Climb over. Run over here quick before we lose too much health. Wait, did I just select everything somehow? That's not what I wanted to do at all. Alright, so we'll drop that. Carpentry, door. Oh, I need two doorknobs and two hinges. That makes sense, I guess. Luckily, I just need one more hinge. One more hinge, please. Please, has anyone seen a hinge? There was one on the ground right there, but I've already moved out of the way. Ugh. Okay. Where are you at? There you are. Okay, now we can make one. Gotta run over here. Carpentry. Door. Double wooden door. Oh! This thing's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Shit. Yeah, well this would definitely uh, allow us to get a, a car through. I guess I'll just remove these walls. Unfortunately, it's going to be a waste of uh, materials, but fine. Easy. Easy clap. All right. So now we have our uh, area here. Perfect. I'm going to open these doors and then put any planks that I can carry into my backpack. Just real quick. There we go. Close the door, please. All right. So on the other side... What we had done is put a uh, something in front of this, kind of like that, in order to seal it off so zombies couldn't get into this side. We're going to do the same thing here. So now we have these areas open and secured. And if we go across here, you'll see we also have these ones open and secure. So as long as we... Um, you know, have this place boarded up like this. We should be good, right? Okay, but first, a little more work to do. So now we can we can kind of see out there, check around. Let's see if we can add another plank. And if that does anything different to us. Ah, it does make it much harder to see. There we go. All right. We just have some scrap wood and stuff down here. All right, so I think what we're going to do next, for fortification down here anyway, is I think we should remove the glass it's down here. And that's why we held the, uh, the tweezers still. 
So we're going to board off some of these windows. Is that all the wood I had? It must be. Oh, I still have some more. Why can't I add another barricade? What's wrong? Look, I put the plank in my main inventory. Does it let me? No. Okay, stop. Stop moving. That's, that's odd. So I can unbarricade, but I can't. Then barricade this. Why? What, is there a difference? Hmm. Let's check these. I'll pick up the glass here and see if I can barricade these at all. Climb through, but I can't barricade them? Huh. I tried clicking on both tiles there. Tried clicking the window itself. But it just doesn't want to let me do it. Can I then do, I guess, carpentry and just build a wall frame here? That would have to be like up there, huh? Hmm. All right, I got an idea then. We're gonna unbarricade this. And then uh, I'm gonna place the planks down here. Uh, carpentry door. Hinges and stuff. Gotta have more hinges and stuff around here somewhere, right? There we go. Okay. First of all, I want another door here. So we're gonna go. Can I place just a wooden door in this frame? I can. Okay. We'll do that. Then another wooden door. Why can't I put that one here? Surely that's a door frame, right? Is it because it's just, I don't, I don't know what the hell that that is. Unfortunate, though, I'm going to have to disassemble it. Or not, I, I guess. I, I don't, what? That was odd. It didn't want to let me uh, do it at first. Hmm. Maybe I don't put a door on. Well, anyway, let's head back inside of our nice little safe area now. Hey, damn it. Close. There we go. All right. Uh, I just hit... Oh, cool. I can just hit E on them. I don't actually have to click. Oh, that's so, so nice. Okay. Um, so what I would like to do, first of all, let's go eat something. Then I need to pick something up from upstairs. Gravy mix. Eat this peanut butter, though. There we go. Alright. Then as we head upstairs, let's go ahead and smoke. spot right there yeah brother all right so i might just actually not put a door on there now that i i think about it it might be a bad idea to do that's just another thing i'm gonna have to like open up and stuff like that and let's get home and our first order of business is to open the door so we can actually fucking get in uh, next off let's go ahead and 
fix our wounds, because remember we had that one infected one. So we're going to disinfect with cologne. Then we're going to use an adhesive bandage, because why not? Now let's go ahead and remove these bandages, which are apparently still infected. Use alcohol wipes. And then we'll go ahead and bandage them again. There we go. Um, I'm going to take one of the antibiotics just to stave off. Why am I still carrying planks? I thought I dropped them all. Oh, whatever. Just to stave off any uh, potentially problematic things there. We'll pop one of them. Uh, next off, let's go to our etc. drawer and drop the glass that we picked up. And then we need to find wherever I put that one particular item I'm looking for. It's in here, okay. The... Huh? Not in here. Not the dribble. I really thought it was in there. Um, huh? Hold on. Where is it at? It's got to be here somewhere. While I'm here, I might as well transcribe all my new stats into the journal. Uh, excuse me. Transcribe everything into the journal, I was saying. Alright, also I'm going to put these gloves into the set here. I don't have any extra gloves. Alright, uh, where the hell's my sledgehammer? I know I had one. Where did it go? Oh, also, I started using this room as kind of like a dumping ground for the stuff I do not need. Is it still in one of these drawers? Maybe I didn't take it and put it away. There it is. There's my sledgehammer. This heavy-ass fucking thing. Oh, wait. I do have a big bed in this house. Huh. Never mind. All right. Um... Go ahead and wash these bandages. Uh, Alright, this sink doesn't work. Because it's not plumbed. These sinks work, though. Might as well fill my water bottle and take a drink as well. Look at that. Oh, love to see the water just in there and ready to be used. I'm going to equip this uh, sledgehammer with both my hands. That way my weight goes down. Uh, we are tired now, so we might as well sleep. I'm going to sleep in the big bed. I'm a big boy. Anyway, we're sleeping here. Ugh. That'll hopefully alleviate some of our boredom and depression. And then we're going to have to replace our bandage here as well. So I keep forgetting about this dang living room. All right, the infection is gone, which is great. Go ahead and put a new bandage on it. And I don't have a dirty bandage, so I guess I just threw the other one on the floor. Anyway, let's head back downstairs, do some demolition work. I really wish I had another carpentry book. Alright, let's go ahead and grab as many planks as we can carry here. There we go. And we'll just go ahead and climb down. I wonder if pressing E would work there. Anyway. Oh, we got a, a friend. We have a couple friends. Hello there. Sledgehammer is good. It's just a shame it's so slow. 
But real quick, let's go ahead and drop these planks. So I'm not overweight. So, I'm not sure why there was a zombie over here. Maybe I should put a door in these just to keep them out of there. Anyway, as you can see, we have uh, this whole area open. But not for long, because we are going to destroy... Where are they coming from? Did they decide to break through one of my things here? Don't see any holes. But then again, it's very fucking dark here, so... Well, for some reason, I can see outside there, so that's odd. They must have come from, like, the side angle, so I'm guessing when there were zombies uh, came in here and they wandered into those. That, my guess, anyway. All right. We're going to destroy some stuff. Sadly, it doesn't give us resources. But, oops, walked way too fast. It will allow us to put stuff up here instead. Okay. So now, to start with, I'm going to, uh, sledgehammer, sledgehammer, sledgehammer. Put the sledgehammer in my bag, because I don't want to be holding it. Did I just interrupt it? No, it went perfect. All right. Then I'm gonna grab this stuff, load it in the bag as best I can here. All right. Carpentry door, wooden door. Where's the hole? There it is. Oh, this one has a door on it. Never mind. I don't have to worry about that. Let's, let's clear this section real quick, just to make sure there's no zombies left standing in here. Okay. Looking good. And that's sealed off still. So, yep, no more zombies in this side. Am I gaining any experience here? No, that's good. Okay. Let's go ahead and close that door. And then does this room have a door on it? It does not. Okay. So I should be able to. Carpentry, door, wooden door. Slam one on here. There we go. So now if I walk through this, I can close it. Let's clear this side. Don't want to have any more surprises waiting for me anywhere. The cool thing about this area is I can also use it for like a dumping ground of materials that we come across. Still closed up. Alright, excellent. Alright, cool. We have these two little hallways open and ready. Just taking the drink there, pardon me. Alright. So now what I think we'll do, we can go carpentry, wooden frame. So we gotta go pick some more up. Let me grab the last one in my inventory so we can just real quick make the, uh, the walls. Okay, and then we're gonna go door frame. Need more planks for that, huh? I mm, only have two more. Okay, well. Let's start by making a window here. There we go. All right, now we're out of planks. Yes, we are. All right, 
How many door hinges and stuff do we got? Three door knobs, which I'm gonna need two. But uh, that's fine. All right. Didn't I close this big door? Did now. All right. Looking outside. I do need to figure out how to get some lights up in this motherfucker right here. All right. Let's grab the rest of our wood because I don't think we have too much more. Fortunate. We'll have to do some uh, fixing up or some tearing down, I should say. There. Grab a door hinge. I need one more door hinge. So let's. And one more door hinge. Two more door hinges, actually. Now we can build a uh, double doors down there. Okay. God, I cannot wait until we can put some freaking light in here. All right. So I'm just going to make. I don't even have enough for that. Okay, well, that's fine. We're just gonna build a wall here. Good, good. And then we're going to barricade this window like that. Cool, so now when we actually have stuff, so I'm just gonna drop the uh, hinges and whatnot here so we have them on the ground. Excellent. Once we actually do have the other equipment we need to finish up this little area, we can do that. Uh, I also plan to put a uh, a low wall across here. Did I close this door behind me? I did. Like right around here, I'll put a, a fence, a wooden fence here. So that way, I, if I need to, if there's some zombies out front, I can just... Lure them behind this wall and bash them in a little bit, you know. Yo. All right. Well, we are fairly well fortified now. This is great for us. Let's head back upstairs and we can put away this sledgehammer. Or I could use it and destroy some more walls. Just real quick, like. I just don't like these being in my way. Okay. Now I have a, a nice open area here. Incidentally, can I break through this uh, here? I can. There's just nothing in here, though, which is actually kind of surprising. Nothing I can see. Hmm. Well, no matter. Let's go back up to our apartment. Alright, home sweet home. And then I think I'm gonna remove some extra walls that we do not need. So, destroy that wall. Kind of opens that up a little more here. Let's go ahead and destroy this plant. I don't need plants. What have they ever done for me? There's plenty of plants outside. I don't need them inside. And then, let's see here this wall here. There we go. This little wall right here as well. Nice. And this goes into the bathroom. So let's get rid of this little section of wall right here. This one here. Perfect. I don't know if I should destroy this light switch or not, but I'm going to do it anyway. There we go. All right, excellent. So that should be all of the walls that I don't really need a, uh, a wall 
Or I can destroy this freaking chair too. There. Now it's out of the way. Perfect. I think everything else I want to keep. Because I want to keep a couch just for decorative purposes, if nothing else. On the garbage can. Same reason. All right. Cool. Let's go ahead and put this uh, sledgehammer back somewhere. Will it fit in this box? I don't know. How heavy is it? The only one... Oh, it's six pounds when it's unequipped. Yeah, it won't fit there. I can put it in this box, though. Oh, yeah. All right. Ugh. So, let me... Sh I don't know if I showed you guys this or not. But if we look at the uh, generator, and we turn it on, and then look at the info... Uh, it shows us that we have four green fridges, 64 lights, um, four red fridges, eight white fridges, and that's going to last us eight hours at the current fuel it is. So it's it's powering a bunch of fridges that we do not have in our apartment, which means we need to get rid of them. Uh, however, that's going to take a propane torch, which we do not have. So that's not great. I'm gonna make sure I have tweezers in my inventory before picking up this broken glass. Can I not pick it up when I'm standing on it? No, I don't want to smash the fucking window. I'll pick up this glass. There we go. What? Why am I bleeding? I was. I had. I had tweezers. Well, I'm a little flabbergasted by that, if I be honest. Let's throw this broken glass in here. Um, let's keep the rest of that stuff. Let's go eat something. Um, we're, we're pretty dirty. Let's go ahead and wash ourselves as well. And now let's eat. Uh, how about a can of oats? Let's go ahead and eat all those. There we go. Looking good. We're gaining a little bit more weight now, too, which is good, I suppose. But yeah, we really need to find a propane torch. Problem is, with our map, we cannot tell what is what, right? I think it's going to be one of those we're going to drive with a van until we find what we need, because we didn't see any propane torches at the hardware store over there. We're going to have to find and hit up something else. So, I'm going to come to our uh, tool box here, so I can throw this saw in there, which won't fit, of course, because there's already a saw in there, and it's just heavy. Put that in there. Grab a crowbar, because that's our main weapon that we've been using. Both-handed. There we go. Okay. We got bandages, alcohol wipes, tweezers in case we need them. Matches for some smokes. Okay. There we go. All right. Without further ado, I think we should uh, exercise to tire ourselves out so we can sleep. Although, I think we're going to have to deal with the pain before we do that. So let's head down to our medical cabinet. Where I can grab some sleeping tablets. We're going to take a sleeping tablet. I'm also going to grab a painkiller, because uh, given how we're uh, in minor pain, it's probably good if we fix that also. God damn it. Bandage just turned dirty, but we're going to sleep anyway. Alright. 
Once we get up, we'll go ahead and replace our bandages. I wish I had some spare gloves I could put on. That'd be, that'd be real nice, wouldn't it? All right. Remove bandage. Remove bandage. Use bandage. Use bandage. And then we can come up here and clean our bandages. There we go. All right. All right. Breakfast. Right, 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 right. Good catch. Let's have a granola bar. There we go. All right. Nothing heading down. We're going to drop these nails before we uh, head down fully. So I'm going to just dump them where I had kind of had everything else at before. Just right here on the ground because they're uh, a little bit heavy. And then instead of using this rope ladder, actually we should probably use this rope ladder, never mind. I was going to say we could use the one closer to the van, but if we did that, um, I feel like we could end up getting snuck up on, and I don't want that. I'm just gonna drop this corpse here, I don't want it nearby me. Alright. Let's re-equip our crowbar since we picked up that damn corpse. Alright. And if we need to, we can just, you know, use that rope ladder that we've uh, placed around at varying intervals. Let's get to our van. We'll start scouting around for a hardware shop of some sort. Okay. So, looking at our current position, uh, first of all, obviously, it might be best to go down this road to see what these are and then these are. Let's do that. That black uh, group of buildings could also potentially be something. So, we'll take a look at those. What do we have far? A convenience mart? Probably just a grocery store. Doesn't look like a tool store. An eatery, and then a keep afloat deck consolidation. And then we have a perfect Barker pet supply store. All right, not what we're looking for. We have a laundry mat here as well. Open up our map once more. So we're gonna keep going this way until we hit the uh, the next block, and we're gonna continue until we see the the buildings there. Just some sort of office building. Looks that way. Okay. What about this place? Sorry, zombies. Sorry. It's pretty much the same. Let me open up my map real quick. Okay, so we're near the black buildings now. Can't really tell what this place is supposed to be. It doesn't look like a store, though. Good legal service, food taster, driving school, logistics, data stuff, office, Marks and Co. I don't know what that is. Gas station, but that's not going to help us much there. Might mark down that that's a gas station, though, so. Haha, <laughs> you thought! Zippy Mart. I don't like the, uh, 
looking at buildings from this side. I'm gonna be honest. It's hard to tell what's what. Oh, it's some sort of store. Liquor store, okay. How about like a tool or a gun store? I'll take either one at the moment. That'd be cool. First train in. What is this place? This is a train station. Ooh. It's fancy. Zombie not dead. It's fucking dead now. Alright, this road looks clear. Let's open up the map and see where we're at again. We are over here, so more residential stuff this way. Uh, this is community services. So let's just head up this road because it looks like there's a bunch more uh, shopping areas up north here. So. Hello, zombies. Just excuse me. Not looking for a uh, tussle right now. Y'all all get put down in the ground where you belong later on, but right now my goal is a pain torch. We already have a welding mask, so. An Italian deli. Uh, what does that say? Tacos? Greens. There's gotta be another tool store like nearby here, right? Fashion boutique. An animal hospital. Hmm. I could potentially have medical supplies if we desperately need them. Hardy Har Bar. I like that. That's good. Too many restaurants is my problem, I think. Uh, also, I can't tell what's on the other side of this fucking road. Hmm. I'm just gonna keep driving up. Law services. Open up the map. Knox Bank, huh? Where are we at now? Up here. There's a couple more stores, and then it's going to turn into other stuff. Legal firm. Coffee store. Beauty salon. Another beauty salon. I mean, a fire department might have it if we can find one of those, too. Ooh, a library, huh? We can go into there. Investment firm? So many useless buildings. At least what I would perceive to be useless. See, I would think this would be a hardware store, judging by the fact that it's like brick building. It just screams hardware store, right? At least to me. Fuck, this is bad. It's real bad. I don't like this, guys. We need to get off this road. Alright, we're clear of zombies for the moment. Let me look at where we're at. Oh, we're way the fuck up here. Okay, let's go back uh, to this east. Because it looks like there's more green buildings over that way. I think I can just kind of shoot through here. Ugh. I don't like hitting stuff with this van. Any zombies is the last thing I want to do right now. Even though I just did it right there again, that's fine. Don't worry. Fuck. 
Out of the way. I need to get on this road. I'm losing speed because I'm on the sidewalk for some reason. Makes no sense, but... American Eats. It bids. I'm gonna go back to this part of the road. Uh, Hair Genius or Genesis? The Sea Shanty. Come on, there's gotta be like a hardware store or somewhere, right? So many fucking restaurants. I hate cities. It's like 90% restaurants, man. In garage. The waterfront. Boothville okay. Expo Center. I don't think we're gonna be finding anything. I'm so lost right now as well. What's in here? Oh, it's a fucking sports arena. Of course it is. Range. Does it have an outlet here? Doesn't look like it does. I want to go back the way I came. I'm really riling up the zombies, though. Another gas station up here, but I don't think I have time to mark it on the map, given how many uh, individuals there are around me. Black Saddle looks like a restaurant, but there's a car dealership right here. That could be useful if we uh, ever remember it's up here, which I probably will not, to be honest. Son of a bitch. Of course, I just happened to hit the fucking pole was right in the middle of the goddamn road there. Who designed that? Who put that there? I wanted to drive into here to see what this building was. But it looks like they're not gonna have anything listed here, so that's cool. Where are we at now? Okay, a lot of commercial shit up here. Maybe we'll actually have a... Uh, something up here, I doubt it. It's all just gonna be restaurants, isn't it? It's an office building, some description. Jugs? I think I'm in the corporate area now. Let's turn back down here. Some sort of retail store, it looks like. Greens. Worm of Books. Trust for the 90s. Zach's Hardware. <coughs> Zach's Hardware might be what we're looking for. Let's go ahead and try to clear out some of the zombies that are around here. Although, real quick, I should take some painkillers. Just to lower my pain, because right now we are in minor pain. But if we start getting the muscle pain, we're going to be in a bad way. So... Hey, nice. That leveled up. Do a little more damage now. Shit. Stay away. Push that group back and check our flank. You're good. Check back again. That's pretty good. Okay. I'm gonna run around this way though. Man, I should have brought some beta blockers as well, but I didn't imagine myself uh, fighting this many zombies right here and now. Come on, kill him. 
Kill him. Kill him. Mm, kill him. Come on. Kill him. There, I got one. Can we go for, like, multiple, though? That'd be nice. I'm gonna check my back. Okay, we got a decent amount of coverage range here, so... No buying. There's another one down. He's down. He's down. Come on. One more hit, and that one's down. Got him. Come on. Got him. Nice. All right. They didn't have anything of interest, like these fingerless gloves that we're going to put on because we uh, needed gloves. Ranger stuff. I'm just going to walk over real quick. All right. I wanted to go to the bookstore too, find a, maybe a, a carpentry book or something, but uh. Nothing I need there. Alright, let's go ahead and we'll head into the uh. hardware store. Let's clear our surroundings. Maybe I should clear the zombies from these sides here. They're just kind of hanging out first. Hey, bud? Wanna wanna die for me real quick? get him down. Another one comes and decides that he wants to play. There we go. Got them all. Nice. Alright. There's still a couple over at the, the bookworm place, but for right now it's work. Oh, we got another guy in the hardware store, huh? Hey, friend. Keys? You do. Thank you kindly. Alright. Let's find what we're looking for and get the hell out of here. I'm gonna grab other things that could be useful later on as well. Um, nothing there. Wrench leaf right there. I'll grab another crowbar. Add it to my collection. <laughs> we have barbed wire, huh? Wasn't expecting to find barbed wire here. All things. Uh, lug wrench, screwdriver, battery. Come on. I'll take these nails. Uh, garden saw, tire pump, another box of screws. Wrench. More screws. Little rods. I'll take the seed packets. Crowbar. Hmm. Let's search the shelves down here. Come on, they have to have at least like one, right? Come on. Box of nails. You don't have a single propane torch, huh? At least not in here. We can search the rest of the shelves and then the back room, but. Come on. You gotta have one, right? Did I just get really lucky in my previous playthroughs when we were, like, getting a bunch of propane torches? Another crowbar. Add it to the pile! I think we're gonna use uh, Crowbars is our primary weapon for the most part, unless we find something else that's useful, like this machete, for example. Or 
those. I got a hard hat, which uh, I think we'll leave for right now. Fishing rod. More nails. Empty fucking shelves. Ugh. You can check the back room still, hopefully. Let's go ahead and disassemble this uh, radio to get a little bit more uh, electrical experience. Same with the clock here. Re-equip our crowbar. And let's check the uh, stuff here. How to generators already read. We got a book, metalworking, dish towel, money, military boots. I might actually wear these real quick. Because my uh, current boots. Uh, no, I thought they were going to be a little bit uh, damaged, but they're not. They're fine. Okay, well, back room it is then. Hopefully there's a back room which doesn't just go outside. Okay. So far it looks, looks, could be promising. Have these boxes in the middle. Planks, planks, shovel, Nails and planks. Well, I'm not going to need nails for a while. I guess that's consolation, isn't it? It's just a bathroom. A Cavalier Nala key. Interesting. I might as well uh, drink from here and fill up our water bottle, too. How our bandages looking. Go ahead and uh, rebandage that. Then we'll wash our band aid while we're here. Cool, cool. Plank, powder, plank. This is just going to lead outside, right? Yeah, is that the Cavalier or whatever the hell it was? Come on, bro. I have enough. Crowbars, man. So much plaster as well. That's everything. Hold on a second. Rumbling where to find a propane torch. Buildings. Propane torches can be found in logging factories, sheds, uh, garages, tool stores, storage units, and crates. Apparently not. The two tool stores that I've been to, though, uh, apparently those don't count. The tool stores here do good to have propane torches for me. Got another zombie over here. Let's take him down. If we can uh, kill him, maybe. Come on. There we go. You have anything on him? Nope. All right. Let's offload some stuff into the van, and we can check out the uh, the bookstore. Let's see if I can get anything from there. All we really got was screws, nails, and crowbars from that. Okay. I don't like how the music just started all of a sudden. Also, we need to take uh, more painkillers. There we go. All right. Zombies by the dust. I heard something else crash. Let me close the door, please. Thank you.
All right, the fucking power's out, so I can't actually see anything. I just kind of lure him into the light where I can see him. Got a key. Alright, so what did I need? I needed a uh, carpentry one, two, three. I need carpentry four. I think I have a five book back at home, so. It'll be fine if we get everything else. Nothing else really matters other than that book. So. Motion sensors, stick trapped. Okay. Right. What about these shelves down here? Do they have anything? I just hear a zombie. This sucks. I wish there was light. Because I can't see shit. There we go, Carpentry 4. Let's get that and get the hell out of here. I'm not dealing with this place at night when I can't see. Bookshelves are just, like, such a trap, my guy. Okay. Let's make some notes on the map here. Um, so, we have a tool store here. We have a bookstore here. Um... Oops, not that. But then I think the rest of it was just food and miscellaneous stuff. Ugh, okay. Where the fuck are we at? We're so far away from home, guys. Mm. Well. If we go down here, we can at least... Hit the main road, so let's do that. I don't think I need to use a uh, light. All right, so we're gonna take a right here. Drive past this. Then we'll take a left, and then we'll take another right. I think if I remember correctly. Kind of have to. Okay. I think I go down here. And these zombies are suicidal. They really want to, like, walk in the way of... me. Isn't that the car alarm we set off, like days ago. It's just still been going on, huh? Well, as long as it's going on and it's not, you know, causing us any problems. Do I want that trailer? We're not going to get it at night. Definitely not with this many zombies around. Sorry, lady, you're the one I chose to kill. Or at least knock down, I guess. I have to check the map. Okay, yeah, we can keep going this way. I think, uh, three turns ahead. Here's one turn. Two turns. Should be the next one, right? Yep, there's that other uh, high rise building. We'll be ignoring to go further south. To our high rise building. Actually, it's only like, what, five floors? I don't think it's really a high rise. But, uh,. Either way. Okay, come on. That tree was not enough to stop me. Come on. Alright, we're gonna stop here. Get out. Oh, 
Oh, what? They removed my my rope ladder there, assholes. That's why we have multiple. Um, E? Um, E, please? There we go. We have multiple so we can get up here and but not without too much problem. All right. Yeah, we're just going to leave the van down there for now. We don't really care too much about everything that it has in it at this moment. So I just need to eat some stuff and wrap up this video before it gets too awfully long. All right. Go ahead and close this door. They shouldn't be able to get into me, but you never know. Music's still jamming out, though. We're a little stressed. Let's go ahead and smoke as well. Hmm. Okay. I don't think I have anything in my backpack, right? I just have this book and then this technology stuff that I am carrying around. I took apart a couple of clocks and stuff. And put these boots in here though. Alright. Excellent. Well, we if we didn't find a torch, but we did find a uh, carpentry book, so that's that's one thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and start reading this. Get ourselves learned up on that to uh, increase our speed of that. Next time, um, we'll go out, loot the van. I'm gonna take a look at the map and see where I could possibly find a Propane torch, if not those tool areas. Maybe there's a like a, a warehouse building that we had seen previously um, that I think usually had them in it, right? Down in Muldrew, anyway. Uh, if not, we'll have to try to see if there's any shed-looking places in backyards that we can like jump around to uh, and see if we can get any of those. But who can say? Anyway, we made a lot of progress today. Our our base is more fortified than it was yesterday. We had found a couple of places up north to loot uh, goods from. And all in all, I think everything was pretty good, aside from some of the injuries that we sustained here. But don't let that keep you down, right? When we return, like I said, we will uh, reconvene, clear out our van, and consider where to go next. So until then, bye for now.